Dollhouse followers. So today I have one of the color pour resin molds. Um, this is the alphabet one. As you guys can see, there's some letters on here. So I just went ahead and pulled this out of the package because I want you guys to see. They do have two different ones. So you get all the letters. And we're going to go ahead and I think I'm going to go ahead and make some keychains. So we're going to go ahead and start with a two-part resin. And I am using Color Pours resin here today as well. So you have the resin hardener with a black cap and that resin with the white cap. So it's really important to make sure you're putting the same cap onto your bottle if you have anything left over. Otherwise, you're going to be sealing these clothes and you won't be able to get your resin out. Um, before I get along any further, I want to let you guys know it's really important when you are playing with resin to have a very well ventilated area. This has a very strong smell. If you can't work in a ventilated area, making sure you have a mask on will be um, a really good safety measure to take. Now, if you have long hair, please make sure you go ahead and pull that back so you're not getting any resin in it. And then, of course, having some gloves is going to be really important. Now, if you're a newbie to this, I really like to recommend this Color Pour Toolkit. So, it does have a table drop cloth. I usually have it behind me here, but I'm using a little silicone pad instead. So, it's going to make sure your surface, your flat surface, is nice and um, secure. And then also, it comes with two pairs of gloves, these little pipette sticks which are right here and then it also comes with these little stir sticks so I believe there are 10 of them really handy some tweezers if you're doing any fine work of glitter and stuff and then they have these little basically plastic Dixie cup I love this set because except for the pipettes and the gloves I can reuse all of it um, and I do I use it regularly um, as you can tell my little Cups are a little beat up, but I keep using them until they're no longer um, usable. And now, another thing that is very important is I like to go ahead and grab this Envirotex measuring cup. So one reason I love this is because it has all the measurements out to eight ounces on here. Um, I love this because I tend to have one that has an H marked on it and one that has an R marked on it. So I can pour both my resin and hardener in separate cups, making sure they're equal parts. And then I'll have the one cup that I just mix it in, all together in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour my um, resin off screen. Again, I'm gonna pour my hardener into the one cup and my resin into the other cup, and then I'm gonna mix it for I believe this one says about four minutes and when I'm mixing it I'm making sure I'm scraping all the sides the bottom you want to go nice and slow you're not going to get as many air bubbles the slower you go Okay, now that it's been four minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and bring three little cups in here. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit of resin into each of these. So, I am going to be adding glitter today, um, 
And then I'm gonna have my bottom part be a white. So I'm gonna take off my glove here just to show you guys. I'm gonna be using some glitter guy glitter. I love this dreaming jar. The glitter in here is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And then my absolute favorite is this Kevin, again by Glitter Guy. It's just so gorgeous. Got pretty blues and purples. And then for the white, I am using an acrylic ink. So I find that the latex titanium white works really well, or really any of the um, FW brand as well is great. You just wanna make sure you shake it beforehand because you will get um, sediment in the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze some drops. I'm gonna do a whole droplet full of white. Which is roughly like 10 drops. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my glitter in. And I'm opening all this glitter with my hand that that is not gloved because I didn't think beforehand and had it already um, just to pour because I don't want my, I'll use this glitter for other things. So I don't want my glitter bottles to get all sticky from resin. And then I'm just gonna take my little stir sticks and I'm just gonna I'm not gonna wanna stir the glitter too much, but I wanna make sure I get the bottom stuff pulled up. I'm gonna stir this guy. Get all the bottom, I wanna make sure that it gets glitter all the way throughout. And then for this white, I wanna make sure I'm getting all the color nicely mixed throughout all of it. So I'm just gonna mix away, mix, mix, mix. And I'm probably gonna use the pipettes a little bit here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down. And I'm gonna go ahead and put another glove on and then we'll get started. Okay, I got my, both my gloves protect, or hands protected. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a few letters here. I'm going to start with this C and I'm going to put the top half in glitter. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill away and now I'm going to come in with that pipette of white. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit more glitter. and then some more white. Now how much white you put in there is all gonna depend on, again, how much glitter you want on the top part. Okay. So that is nice and filled to the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my next letter and I'm going to go ahead and do this in pink. So we're going to do this J down here. And again, I just fill kind of half of it because you're going to come in with that other resin and it's going to kind of push it. I'm gonna come in with that glitter again. And I'll come in with that white. Okay, so I have that done. Now I have a friend I'm doing this for with a letter F. So I'm gonna go ahead and do F. And fill that top part. Blue is her favorite color, so I'm coming in with that blue. And then I am gonna 
put some white in here. Ooh, they're doing exactly what I want. See how I have pretty much equal parts? And because resin is very fluid, they're actually pushing together and going down that second row. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill a little bit more glitter on the top part. And then I'm gonna come in with that white. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit more white. Again, it's just a balancing act. I'm doing one side and then the bottom side because otherwise they will, um, the glitter will go all the way to the bottom and then the white's gonna be pushing it up and I could be covering up some of my color I'm wanting. Okay, I'm liking that way that looks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I got a friend that starts with a T that I'm gonna make this for. And come in with that white. Just fill it on up. I would be using the pipette with this glitter, but since this glitter is pretty chunky, it's not really going into the pipette. So I kind of have to just use my stir sticks to help me along my way. If I have any rough edges at the end, I can go ahead and I can sand them down or I can take a file and file it to make them nice and smooth. But anything that's on the silicone itself will just kind of pop right off. I'm loving the way these are looking, you guys. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do this W down here. Now again, the amount of resin you pour is gonna depend on how many letters you're making. Maybe you have, you're wanting to make these for all of your friends like me. I poured a little less than two ounces of both that red resin and that hardener. So giving me a total of four ounces. came to the end of my white there. I'm probably still going to have too much resin, so I might go ahead and throw this into another mold. I have a really cute faceted bracelet that I can make something fun with, this glitter and white. Or I also have um, one of Color Pours soap dishes. So I might pour the extra into the soap dish when I'm done. So I'm going to use the rest to pour into my other mold here once we're done. But I'm going to go ahead and take my gloves off because I am going to hit this with the heat gun. As you can see, some bubbles have formed on these other ones. So if you have a heat gun, just go ahead and just slightly go over it. It will pop all those ones at the surface. You don't want to keep it in one spot for too long because it could end up burning your resin. But you can kind of go back and forth between all of these. And you can see that C and F that I saw the most bubbles in. Those have already been going away with me just going back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead 
and we're gonna let this dry for 24 hours and then we will come back and see what it looks like, all right? Okay, Craft Warehouse followers, these are all dry. It's been 24 hours and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them out of their molds. Just one at a time. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set these to the side. Look at how fun those are. I am loving it. I did go ahead and flip over a few of them because I like how the glitter um, is very prominent compared to the other side. Um, and I want to flip the C around just to show you guys that you can have the white at the top too if you do flip it. So um, do keep that in mind when you're filling it. I sadly can't flip over my F, but I am okay with that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to be using some UV resin. So I'm going to put these on my silicone mat. So with the UV resin, I'm going to show you the bottle here. It is going to harden with my little UV LED lamp I have, which is a 6 watt. There's a little button in the back. It'll turn on, and that will be for a minute. So it cures in about 90 seconds, which is amazing. And that is going to be how we attach these little eye bolts here. They're little eye caps. It's got to, let me get these open. So see those? They have a nice little spot that I can put the glue and then they have the little hook so I can attach um, my keychain. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, before I go any further, you guys, remember I told you I had a little extra resin and I try to keep a mold with me um, every time I'm working on it. So I did a... Um, I mixed all of it into this soap tray and I just want to pull this out with you guys because it is, oh my gosh, look at that sparkle, look how fun that is. It does have some white, the back is beautiful too, but I love it so much. Um, so always have an extra mold because you don't want to have that resin go to waste and you might create something amazing and that you are in love with. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started now, finishing this piece off. Okay, so for this, I am just going to put a little bit of resin on my mat here. And what I'll end up doing is I will just dip it into the UV resin and then place it where I want and then hold it under the light. Some of these I might have to go ahead and put on the side and I'll kind of uh, tilt. Just kind of depends on the shape and if my cap is going to sit on there okay. Like I actually think this A would be much cuter and more secure if I do it on the side. So we're going to start with that. I'm only going to do a couple for the purpose of this video. And I am going to go ahead and pull the mat away because I don't want this UV resin to uh, cure. Because this light will reach all the way over here and cure it on me. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to dip it in there. And then I'm going to place it where I want it. And then I'm just going to hold it right underneath that light. So that will start a minute. And then I will probably pull it out. And then what I like to do is add a little bit more UV resin just around the outside um, of the cap because I want to make sure that this is as secured as it can be. I don't want this to pop off and um, you know, for my friends to lose their little keychain, letter keychains. So,
Okay, that is cured now. The light turned off. And if you have a toothpick, you can come in with a toothpick, but it is pretty secure on there. But I like to just go ahead and just slightly pull that UV resin all the way around that eye cap. So this is going to make sure it's a 100% secure and will not come off on me. I also would like to point out here, think about the way you have your loop facing. So I want to have the, the keychain coming out this way because um, it has a little clasp on it. But if you need it to go a different way, do make those adjustments before you get the, the resin all cured. Um, and while you're putting it on. Otherwise, you might be a little sad in how it turns out. And then again, I just turn on, put it underneath that lamp. I am hitting the button once, which is gonna be a minute. Okay, so that is done curing. It's nice and secure. And then I can come in with my large split ring and just slide it right through. And I have my keychain. It's ready to rock and roll. Um, if you don't like the way it looks attached right to this and you want a little bit more movement, I do suggest using a split ring and not a jump ring to attach this because your split ring uh, is going to have loops just like this large split ring here where a jump ring it could eventually if you're using this to pull it could eventually come apart so do keep that in mind if you are wanting a little bit more playroom um, with your large split ring here but how fun okay let's get a couple more of these done so we're gonna do this W. Oops, and see I was still too close to the light there. So it did harden. I'm just gonna put a little bit more resin down. This stuff cures so quickly. I just love it. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one right there. And then I am also going to do this C at the same time. Again, just dipping that cap in there. Making sure my loops are facing the way I need them to. And then it's going to go right underneath that light. And I'm going to do it for just one click of the button and that's going to be a minute. And that should cure those nice and secure, but just for a little extra um, toughness and to make sure that it won't budge no matter how tough I am, I am going to seal it in with one more layer of UV resin. Okay, those are done. And then again, we're just going to go ahead and secure. Those eye these eye uh, caps in. So just go all the way around. Again, you can just use a toothpick for this. I just had a popsicle stick on hand from earlier and um, don't have any popsicle stick, or and I don't have any toothpicks on hand. Okay, now that I got that all the way around, again, I'm just gonna hold them right underneath that light 
hit the button for one minute and I'll be good to go. All right, all I have to do now All right, those are nicely secure, and all I have to do now is go ahead and attach my split rings. Oops. This is a tricky part, getting these guys in there. Okay, and just slide it all the way. And look, easy peasy keychains, so cute. Um, great gifts for friends or maybe just for yourself. All right, you guys, thank you for joining me and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.